Greetings, welcome to my channel, A Place to Talk. I am Julia, and I'm so glad that you've joined me. We are going to do a weekly reading, and it's going to be for November the 14th to the 20th. And I'm just so glad you're here, and I'm glad that we can do this together. Let's just take a peek into next week and see what's going to come up for us and things we might need to think about. And I will tell you what decks I'm using. I'm using this uh, Rider, Rider weight deck, and it is this one in particular, just so sometimes you wonder which one it is. And I will tell you, I was shuffling and this card fell out. So we are going to be focusing on being well-grounded and in our power this coming week. And the Oracle cards that I'm going to use, dun, 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 is messages from your animal spirit guides. These are new cards to me, but I love them already they have really helped me already so we're going to do that and at the end if we can we're going to pull a few oracle cards as well at the end for overall message okay so join me now and let's start with monday monday the 14th we have the animal spirit guide penguin it says the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing and we did really just have a very powerful week last week with that lunar eclipse and it was amazing i don't know what you felt but um, lots of potential is going to be opening up for us now so we're the darkness has passed and now we're ready to experience something new okay so we have two cards Woo <laughs> okay first we have the wheel of fortune so things are definitely turning they're definitely the momentum is spinning and we are, if we're, we've been down and out, we're now going up to the top. And if you're at the top, watch out because pride does come before the fall. And so just keep yourself true, honest, and open to spirit. And you will definitely see blessings coming. Because our next card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift. So Monday, we're going to experience a gift. We're going to be blessed. Things are turning in our favor. Things that we thought will never really change are going to be changing. And we will be w walking through that gate, going to on our journey towards those mountains. And I'm not sure what your mountain is, but mountains are strong. Mountains give us that backbone and encouragement to carry on. So we're going to look to the mountains and we're going to go towards the mountains. So on Monday, just to recap, the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. So expect things to turn and look for those things. Be grateful, filled with gratitude. So that's for Monday, the penguin. Tuesday, we have blue heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. So you're going to make a stand Tuesday. Stand up for what you are aiming for Put your energy out there, okay? Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. And I will say, <laughs> oops, there it goes, two cards. I did ring the bell before, but I forgot on the video. So anyways, just so you know. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. We have been definitely going through tough experiences, things that have made, made us disappointed, hurt, and just sorrowful. So what we need to do is really stand in our truth and take those two cups that are standing and go across that bridge and make a new journey for ourselves. Let those things go that are really have hurt us. Know that things will change and things will turn to our favor. And then we have the emperor. Here we might have someone who's willing to support us, to stand behind us and to uh, just support us in what we're doing so that way we too can have that energy. So find, it's interesting, I don't know why I'm picking someone else instead of you, but think of someone who you know you can trust and rely on them for your strength, then you can stand when you need help standing because we are supposed to take a stand. So take a stand, know your boundaries, Trust in someone who has very good um, logic and reasoning. If you can't make it, if you can't find your own logic and reasoning because you're just so sad or um, disappointed in things, just listen to someone else's wisdom that you trust and listen and take heart and then stand. Stand for what you believe in 
And if that person can help you, awesome, then you too can have that logic in your life and it will give you support. You're making decisions, you're being logical, you're moving forward in your life, and the emperor says you've got it in control and you're able to make those decisions. You are quite capable Every, of anything that you need to do, you are quite capable of doing it. On Wednesday, we have Emu. Emu says, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. So Wednesday, there we go. This is the 16th, so take a new adventure. Maybe there's something that you remember on this day and you think, oh, that was might be a sad memory or it might be a, good, a glad memory or it might be your birthday. So <laughs> whatever it is, take an adventure and go and enjoy this day. And if you need to plan an adventure for the week or you're wondering what day to do something, Wednesday might be your day to do it. And let's see why okay we have two tough cards okay we have the five of swords we're gonna go on that adventure because we need to walk away we need to walk away from something that we might be hurt on someone might be saying something to us that we don't need to hear be ready to walk away hold your own hold your own energy to yourself and have that walk away power and know that you're strong because you can walk away and go on your own adventure. And then we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords says we're so much in our mind, we're trapped. And how are we going to get out of this situation that we're in? How are things gonna work out? You know, that's when the Nine of Swords comes in. We go from the Eight to the Nine, we're transitioning. So we have to stop ourselves from going to the next level and getting worse in our thoughts. Go on an adventure and break free. Break free of what the things are that are binding you in your mind. And it's a definitely a mind day because these are both sword cards. We're thinking, overthinking things and maybe words are flying around like crazy. On Wednesday also, I'm just going to say Mercury is trine Jupiter. I was wondering if there was anything with that. But Mercury is a communications card. So watch your communications and watch that they're the positive side because Jupiter will expand things. So it's better to go on your own adventure and let everybody else have their own adventure. <laughs> and they can take all their own energy and go somewhere else, okay? So just enjoy your own self on Wednesday. Thursday, we have Honeybee. It says, let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. So we're gonna be compassionate, okay? Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation with the honeybee. Okay. We do have to walk away from people, but we have to stay in compassion. We don't let their energy cling to us and we forgive them. Okay. And that's a good thing to do. When we do that, we're going to, this is the second card. When we walk away, we take our ideas, take our strategies, and we take them with us and we move on to something else. We're going to protect our own strategies, protect our own, oh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> you know, when you have your own ideas and you wanna brand them, and anyways, I forget the word right now. But you wanna watch and see, look at that. He's got the little red boots on. He's on his own, own adventure. He might be needing to do this in the quiet of the night just to protect who he is, but he is going on adventure, leaving that drama of that circus behind. And when he does, look at this, he gets the reward of abundance and emotional healing. Wow, so forgive, be compassionate with others, and, it will, and just nurture your own soul. Protect your own thoughts, protect your own heart, and you will reach emotional satisfaction and abundance. And loving relationships will surround you when you are that way, then other people who see that in you are attracted to that. So then they will come to you. I have a candle going here. I better not burn my cards. Okay, for Friday, we have Humpback Whale. Humpback Whale says music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. So music is the Friday key. Okay, so on Friday, connect with some music that means a lot to you. It'll soothe your soul, 
it'll give you energy it'll give you the boost if you need to clean your house or it will um, like a spa it will just soothe your soul and relax your all your energies from the week so come back well music is very integral to what we we're going to need on friday okay heavy energy we're going to be facing um, some issues and some maybe some people controlling us or our own addictions or things that are just driving us just insane <laughs> I don't like saying that but things that might be making us upset things that we're feeling pushed to our limit and our max and we just can't deal with something anymore well guess what listen to some music and release that chain off your neck music will just take you to another level take you to another place and when you do, there you go. You're going to be able to stand your ground once again. You're strong. You're going to rejuvenate your inner energy. This is the seven of, of wands and he can battle against anyone. He's standing on that hill and people are coming up against him with their thoughts and their energy and their ideas and they're not listening to you, but you can just stand on the top of the hill and just know you have your answer and you know what you can do and you know what you're capable of. So don't be pushed past your own limit on Friday. Listen to some music, relax into that, and let those other things go of what other people or what other situations and things are pressing in against you. Then we come to Saturday. Saturday we have Ladybug. And you can guess what Ladybug is. Ladybug says, this is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. So Ladybug, this is a time of good fortune. So things are definitely turning. It might be, we might come up against some little irritants this week, but we're going to be experiencing much more calmness, much more good fortune in our daily life. And we're going to just be able to say, oh, okay, I can handle this. I can do this. Things are changing. Things are changing for sure. Okay. As I said that, the tower card falls out. Okay. So, but it falls out in reverse, which is really good. Okay. Let's see what's the second card we need to know. With our time of good fortune, what is this bringing to us? Okay. Ladybug, what do we need to know? Okay. Here we have the tower. As I said, it was in reverse. But you can see that lightning bolt struck. The tower crumbles and this tower is something in our life that we no longer need and it has now been destroyed. Okay, things are just done and over with and collapsed. So that means the good fortune now can come along and fix it and clean it up. And we have a quick card that also came out, the five of wands. Five of wands is get your competitive spirit back up. Yes, other people are still going to come back at you, but you're going to say, this is my strength. I'm going to practice. And you know what? That's a great idea. Just take these little ideas. And when people come at you, just take this as a moment to practice your skill and say, I'm going to just use the situation for my benefit to learn how I can be stronger, how I know what I can stand up for. And our next card is the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles says stay in balance. Your ships are coming in, things are going to turn around, and good fortune is in those ships that are coming in, okay? But stay in balance, balance all the little things that you need to do in life, get everything straight and organized, so that when the good fortune comes in, you're ready for it. And we have one more card, the justice card. So things will definitely balance out. Good fortune is coming to you. Your favor, you are going to be favored and blessed in the things that you have been pushing on, applying your energy to, things are going to turn in your favor and you're going to be well balanced. So with that ladybug, this is a good time for good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all the good things in your life. Be willing to receive. And then we have Sunday. Sunday says cheetah. Cheetah says get a clear, get clear on your intention, stay focused and move quickly. To achieve your goal. The cheetahs do move quickly. You've seen them on TV probably or on movies where they can run, run and their energy is graceful and just gliding through the air. So but that happens because they've got that clear vision where they're going. So what we're going to need to do on Sunday is set our clear vision 
perhaps for the rest of the month. What have we not accomplished? Because we're at the 20th by then, then we have 10 days left of the month. And what did we want to accomplish in November? So set your clear intention, stay focused, and move quickly towards your goal. Move quickly towards your goal. And we have two eights. We have the Eight of Cups. Here is the Lunar Eclipse that we just had. It is helping us, that energy that we've had, it's helping us to walk away. We're going on that journey and we're gonna be clearly focused on what is ahead, not on what is behind. He's not looking back on those anymore. The old phrase, you know, that door is closed. We're not going back that way anymore. So just be set your intention and walk away. And when you set your intention as well, know your skills and develop them more um, just focus on your skills focus on your day-to-day -day activities focus on what you need to do next set your clear intentions for the week what do i need to accomplish maybe make a list of eight things that you want to do and just don't worry about the rest because i know we all probably have like a list of 25 things to do so maybe pick eight things okay <laughs> pick eight things to do we're going to walk away from the other things that aren't important we're going to stay focused get our clarity, and we're going to achieve the goals that we set out for the week ahead. All right, well, this is a great week. I am going to pull two more Oracle type of cards. I'm going to use, okay, this one really wants to come, the, the um, Romance Angel Oracle cards, and we're going to see what we have here. It says, religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. That might be for someone who needs to to think about what their what their initial upbringing was and what were you taught and how is that affecting you in going forward with your clear intentions the next one is deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so watch out for other people in your life who you think you can trust but are they really telling the truth to you so just listen carefully with your intuition and go with your gut Okay, that's interesting that those two cards came out. And now one more. We're going to do Angel Answers Oracle card for the week. What do we need to know? And, whoop, okay, I'm going to just keep shuffling. We have Choose a New Direction. And I bet we're already on that. We've probably already done that, and this is a confirmation. We are on the right path. Okay, so choose that new direction. Walk down that path. And don't be afraid to ask help, helpful people to help you along the way. There's other people who have done this before or similar things and faced similar issues that you have. So trust them and lean on them to help you for this week. Wow. Okay. So there we go. We have a week ahead coming up and we're going to stand our ground and make sure on Wednesday you take that break and go on an adventure. Okay. So I have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye for now.